Corsi roasts Mueller plea deal, I am not going to sign a lie. Imagine, if you will, that your wife or husband launched a massive investigation about who stole the last cookie from the cookie jar. Instead of going to work, your spouse has drained countless resources trying to get to the bottom of that caper. You'd hope that after a year, and little else to show other than busting your cat and dog peeing in the kitchen sometime during the alleged theft, they would drop it. Instead, the fruitless search rages on. That, in essence, is what special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into possible Russian collusion with the Trump campaign in the 2016 presidential election has been reduced to. Yikes! It's no secret why anti-Trump liberals are clinging so dearly to the Mueller investigation. With Trump's economy booming and the Senate remaining in Republican hands after a hugely contentious midterm election, there's precious little left for never-Trumpers to hang their hats on. But appeasing a liberal mob should never be the basis of a massive federal investigation. To be fair, Mueller has certainly busted a couple of bad apples in his crusade, though none have provided any sort of tangible link to Russian collusion. Paul Manafort? Clearly a bad apple with his money laundering and tax fraud, but that has less than nothing to do with Russia. Michael Cohen? He admitted to using campaign funds inappropriately, but what's Russia got to do with that? George Papadopoulos? He lied to the FBI and got his 14 days in prison, which he started serving Monday, according to Fox News. But again, nothing else has come from that.